Richard Spencer of the so-called alt-right spoke to David Pakman of the David Pakman Show, and Spencer had a another revealing moment that I want to share with you. Now, the previous revealing moment was when he was at a conference in Washington, and uh, he, in the middle of his speech, he spoke about the Lugan Pressa. Lugan Pressa means lying press, and it, of course, that phrase, that term originates in Nazi Germany. Now, if that wasn't clear enough, uh, he also said at the end of his speech, Hail our people, hail victory, hail Trump. Hail victory translates to Zig Heil. Does that sound familiar? Does hail Trump sound familiar? It's not like anybody in the past said, I don't know, maybe hail Hitler? Maybe, just a little bit? Uh, there were people in the audience at this event going, doing the Nazi salute. So, it, we say so-called alt-right because it is so-called alt-right. The guy's a fucking Nazi. I mean, what do you want me to tell you? It, it is what it is. So, that was a revealing moment. Now we have another revealing moment. David Pakman pounced on the, the new information, let's say, about Richard Spencer. Because for a while, he kept it under wraps, and he hid behind the banner of, oh, no, 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 we're, I'm just a white nationalist. You know, I'm kind of like Pat Buchanan. I'm like a populist who believes in nationalism, but I'm also, like, racist. But I'm not that bad. I'm not like a neo-Nazi, you know what I'm saying? So Pacman said, okay, well, let's figure this out, and look at what happened. Richard, we are out of time, but real quick, You're welcome. I, I heard that you, will you denounce Adolf Hitler? I heard you don't denounce Adolf Hitler when asked about that. Uh, Adolf, uh, the National Socialism was, it was, a, it was a disaster. The 20th century was a pretty much a disaster. From yeah, but do opinion. you denounce the but actions of Adolf gonna, Hitler? I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to play this game. Oh, where it's not a game. Throw out historical figures and I denounce them. I mean, do you denounce Stalin? Do you denounce Pol Pot? I mean, look, yeah. the, the National Socialist Germany, it's part of history. It's, it's not who I am. No, I'm not, not asking if Hitler is part is. of it's history, but are. so you don't denounce Hitler when asked is what you're saying. I, I don't play this game of denunciations. Well, of but people. calling it a game is a game. That's that a game to call it a game. Like a game. What? To call it a game is playing a game. Do you condemn the KKK? Uh, the KKK? I mean, yeah, you've heard of I, them. I, I just, again, right? or are I you like Trump? You've not heard of them. <laughs> yeah, I've heard of them. <laughs> Richard, 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 Richard. Or should I say Dick? <laughs> Dick. Dick, dick. Okay, how stupid are you? Like, even if, I can't believe I'm giving advice to a fucking Nazi. <laughs> even if you are secretly pro-Hitler, it gotta be a secret, dude. <laughs> like, you can't, you lost that PR battle long, long ago. <laughs> so, <laughs> if somebody asks you, do you condemn Hitler? Here's your answer, yes. That's it. <laughs> of course. Of course I do. Are you crazy? Yes. Do you condemn the KKK? Yeah. Yeah. Even if you support them, you say that. <laughs> but he's like, KKK. Ah, oh, the KKK. I'm saying who the KKK. I mean, who are even the KKK? I don't know what you mean KKK. Is that, I don't know. You're talking about like Keenan and Kel and... and Ken, if there was a third one, if it came, I mean, I like Nickelodeon, I like Keenan and Cal, I don't know what you mean, KKK, <laughs> KKK, I never heard of the KKK, I don't know what you mean, <laughs> like, what is wrong with you, uh, do you condemn Adolf Hitler, uh, look, games, okay, I don't play this game, what fucking game, you have a reputation as being a fucking neo-Nazi now. You know that's your goddamn reputation. So it is the most logical, straightforward question anybody has ever asked in human history. Do you condemn Adolf Hitler? You know, look, uh, it's a complicated... It's not fucking complicated! It's just games. We, you're playing games where you're asking me things that make perfect sense, given the context of everything I've stood for. So I don't play this game. What a fucking game! I like how I like how uh, David Packham was like. Actually, you saying it's a game is you playing a game. <laughs> like you're playing a game. I'm not playing a game. I has an obvious question. What are you talking about? And then my my favorite favorite part is, yeah, oh, come on, man, are you playing this game? I mean, do you condemn Pol Pot and Stalin? He's like, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Not even close. I obviously condemn him. Like, well, okay. Well, mm, mm, mm. 
Well, whatever. I don't play this game. Is that a fucking game? Okay. Dude, here's... Let me let me do um, a nice little run-through for, every, <laughs> for everybody real quick. Here's how you answer that question uh, if you condemn Hitler. Yes, I condemn him. Next question. Do you condemn the KKK? Yes, I condemn him. Next question. I mean, this guy isn't even uh, with it enough. And it's hilarious that some people think he's an intellectual. <laughs> this guy isn't even with it enough to even, like, do the lie real quick. To understand that, hey, man, you have these broader goals. And, like, you're going to have to disconnect yourself from Hitler and the KKK if you really want to achieve them in any real way. So, but anyway, I think you guys get the point here. He's a fucking loathsome human being. And yes, it is fair to call him a Nazi. It is fair to call him a neo-Nazi. He won't even condemn Hitler. He pretends like, like, what do you, like, what, like, 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 it's a game against you or, oh, it's a plot. There's no fucking plot. Do you support him or not? It's reasonable to ask that question given you saying Lugan Pressa and hail Trump and hail our people and hail victory and your white nationalist alt-right ideology and the fact that you've said openly that, oh, yeah, no, the, the propaganda against the Jews, I've had people look into it to make fun of us, and then they started believing it, and now they hate Jews, too. What? Oh, why are you asking me if I agree with Hitler? I don't know what you're talking about. All I said was, I hate the Jews. What do you mean? So, the, what a... God, he's so stupid. I can't believe anybody takes him seriously. Again, he masked it for a while. He's like, oh, no, 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 no. See, we are just a nationalist movement, and we uh, are... We're not against other people. We're for our people, white people. Look, I, Josh, Josh Turner, who is a former neo-Nazi, who we've had on this show, he's reformed, and he's reformed through science and atheism and reason. One of the first things he told me was, yeah, that's the fucking trick that neo-Nazis use to try to recruit more people, is they frame it as, no, we're not against anybody, we're just for white people. And we just think we're better. So by definition, you will be, would be less than and we are against you because we're more for us. So it, he explained it all and it's all laid out there. So I don't know who the fuck you think you're kidding, Richard Spencer, but you're a silly person. And we, I mean, I don't even want to go into it. Obviously, we're touching on it a little bit here, but the, Nazism is basically a fundamentalist religion with a bunch of ideas that are just completely and utterly factually wrong. I mean, it all, a lot of it stems from German mysticism and these misconceptions about the Aryan race and a time when the Aryans ruled the world, which did, doesn't exist. It is fake. It is like the, you know, hey, uh, Jesus is three people, but he's one person. Hey, you know, uh, Muhammad was a prophet. Hey, all, like it's religion. It's not, it's not based on anything real. Again, I don't know why I'm bothering to argue so fervently on something where every single, virtually every single person agrees with me. The overwhelming majority is like, yeah, Nazism, wrong, got it, next. But I guess it just bugs me that, like, people still believe in it. And to me, the biggest argument has always been, you have people claiming superiority. So you have this group of people that says, we are superior to other people in every sense of that word. And then they act in what is the most inferior way imaginable. So when you do violence, when you murder people, when you expel people from their own land, when you commit crimes nonstop, how can you do that and then claim, but I'm superior? No, but those actions in and of themselves are inferior. So it's like somebody, it's like fucking Charles Manson or what's his face, other famous serial killers, Gacy or whatever his name is. It's like, as they're doing these mass murders and they're, you know, uh, doing horrific acts, they're like, but I, we're, I'm superior. No, you're not superior. If anything, you are actually inferior in your extremist ideology, in this case, Nazi ideology, because you're acting on beliefs that are incorrect and doing the most inhumane and unethical and immoral and wrong actions. So as you act in an outwardly inferior way, you claim to be superior. And remember, they use try to use similar arguments against minority groups. Like they'll say black people commit more crimes, therefore they're inferior. You you agree with Hitler, who is the worst criminal in history, arguably. So oh yeah, no, you're see the fact that you commit crimes means you're you're inferior, but I want to be the biggest criminal ever. Hmm, wait, how does this how does this work again? I don't...
I don't know, I'm just better than you. No, you're not. You're an idiot. You're a clown. Virtually everybody can see through you. And you wouldn't even denounce Hitler and the KKK. So I do believe you undermine your own ideology uh, in about a minute-long clip. Well done, Richard. Or again, should I say, dick.